Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It's Thursday. I have Harrison, I have uh, Ozzy, and I have Christopher coming today. We're going to have a home day, maybe go to the park. It's beautiful and sunny, and uh, quite looking forward to a bit more of a relaxed day. Harrison should be arriving any moment. It is 8 o'clock, and he's due at 8 o'clock, so he should be here any moment. And then the others arrive at about quarter to nine, nine o'clock. I've had my breakfast, I'm going to make a nice cup of tea, and then we'll get on with our day. Woohoo! Uh oh! Oh, where did he go? The apple. Ha <laughs> ha! He ran away! Time to sweep up my grass. It's a big old mess again. <laughs> It has been a long time since this train had new batteries put in it and I suspect the old batteries are still in there. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. I may regret trying to change the battery in this. Mm. Yeah. Looks like it's a bit corroded. Let's see if I can get some of them. There we are, it's just fluff and muck. <sighs> fluff and muck causing the problem. Hmm. The motor won't work. Why is the motor not working? A lot of dust in this. Could just be the problem is that it's very dusty. make his motor work. I think the motor's gone. But I can make him toot. Right. I'm going to regret that. Yeah, you can help Ozzy grow some potatoes. Good job, Ozzy. 
That's it. Get it in the pot, love. That's it. In the pot. Now I am. Right, you need to find a spoon or something to help you scoop. Or if you can find a spade. Well, I can yeah, do you want to go that side? There might be a better spoon on the other side somewhere. That's it. Actually, I might find a spade. Or a pot. Look, there's a there's a cup on the floor down there. Could use the cup to do some scooping. Look under this table. Down there. I Potatoes, what have they got growing on them? I don't know. Roots. Roots. So these are chickens, they're called. It means that the roots have started to oh, come out. That gives me that. So do you want to put one in the mud? Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. Let's find a good one. Here's a good one. Do you want to put that one in the mud? I don't know. Okay, well done. And maybe that one. Put the... That one, we may as well put them all in and see how they do. That one, actually, that one looks a bit squishy. Right, so we spread them out like that. Now we need some more mud to cover them up, but they don't need to be really deep, they just need to be covered. My mum's got many years. Has she? Yeah, yeah. Do you know, Christopher? Do you know what manure does? Yeah. Makes the, uh, the soil healthy with lots of nutrients, Aww. which means you can grow better vegetables and plants because it feeds the plant. But, but we're not growing tomatoes in the, in the patch. Plop. Do you want to come and put some in? I put in this in. I'm using this. Yeah, you use those. <laughs> Yeah, Harrison wants to do some. You find a spade or something, Harrison? One up. Once they're covered, that's as deep as it needs to be, and then when more leaves, when the leaves start to grow, that's when we cover them back up again. Well done. What's that? Oh, it's like a sieve, isn't it? Well done, boys. Good job. So Harrison's mum has bought some Easter crowns to make. That was kind, wasn't it? She also bought you an Easter egg. That was kind as well, wasn't it? Yeah, that's... Well, it must have been double kind for me. Double kind for you, was it? Yeah. What did you buy me for Easter? Um... Uh, Do you remember? There was quite a few in bunnies in it, wasn't there? One chocolate bunny, two chocolate bunnies. If it was a, a medium sized one, a big one, two medium sized and three little I think, wasn't it? I'm very, very grateful. Right, what colour would you like? Blue. Blue, please. Right, so what you want to do is pop all those bits out and pop them on the table. Those boys are playing in the mud kitchen, aren't they? They are. Alright. And then you can choose what sort of things you want to put on yours. So, we have Easter eggs, chip, bunnies, carrots, butterflies, bows, all sorts of things to make your Easter crown. I might have those. These ones? Yeah. Yep, yeah. two of those ones. They go well with your blue, don't they? Yeah, because all... All of them have got some blue on. They have. What colour crown do you want, Ozzy? That's it. Which one? That's it. Green, please. Mm -hmm. Right, so we need to take these out. Can you pop these out? We've got the bunny rabbits there. It's a bunny. Should you go do your nappy? No. I think you've had a poo. Okay. okay. So where shall I put this? Right in the middle. Yep. That's it. Right, lay down for me. Pull up. Whoop. 
I'm trying to get a picture. Say Easter eggs, Aussie, on your head. Yeah. Easter eggs. Kenzie's on pancake duty, aren't you, Kenzie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You've got four eggs each to find, four little chocolate eggs. See if you can find chocolate them in the garden. Cake. Go for it. Not chocolate cake, no. Oh, Christopher's found one. Aussie, oh, going to come and find some chocolate? One. I don't know, where's Christopher going to find chocolate? Harrison, can you find any chocolate? You found one. Good boy, put it in your pocket. Oh, you haven't got a pocket. I'll hold it for you, shall I? Do you want to put yours I've in this pot? I've Collect them in there. I've got in my... In my... Oh, Ozzy, can you find one? Ozzy, won't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, go on then. You get that one then, good boy. <gasps> well done, Ozzy. Pop it in your pocket. There you go. Right, Ozzy, you've got three more to find. <gasps> Harrison, what have you found? This one. This one? I Go put it in your pot then. Where's your pot gone? I've only got two more to go for. I need it. Because I look, I've got two. There you go. Okay. This one. This yeah. <gasps> you found three, you clever boy. Me too. Oh, well done. You found that one. Over here. Ozzy, come over here. See if you can find one over here. Ozzy. 
Can you see if you can find one? Oh, you got one. Yeah. It was on his head. Wait, That's it in your pocket? Yeah, two. two more. Anybody find any eggs? Yeah. Oh, well done, Aussie. You've got one more to find, Aussie. Everyone's got one more to find. Yeah. There's still one in here. Still one in here. I was the first to get Well out. done. You got all four of yours, didn't you? Egg. Egg. Right, now you need one more chocolate. Oh, over here, Harrison. Over here. Harrison, can you see an egg? Around here somewhere? Harrison's finding all the yellow eggs. I found can you see any eggs? I found all four of my three eggs. Can you see it, Aussie? Huh? Can you see the egg? I don't think Harrison can see it. <gasps> Aussie found it. Thanks, Aussie. Oh, well done, you guys. Should we count them? How many have you got? One. Two, three, four. How many have you got? One, two, three. And in this pocket. And one more makes four. Raw! He fell, did he? Oh, poor Christopher. Oh, he's got Christopher. He got Christopher! I started a puzzle while the little ones were having a sleep and a bit of telly time. And that's the one I'm doing, Lighthousekeeper's Cottage. Kenzie has also um, cleaned the bathroom for me. So that's a job off my list. I'm going to see if he'll make me tea. Kenzie, would you make your mother tea, please? Yeah. Yay! Thanks, love. That's kind of him, making me tea. Yeah, I've got no other choice. No, you don't have another choice, but you know, you could have just taken the win and gone, yes, I am kind, aren't I? Huh? Hmm. Right, let's get this laundry dry and go and hang the other stuff up. I've made Kenzie chicken Kiev with uh, roast potatoes and vegetables. Tonight's dinner for myself and Lee is a Lebanese style um, lamb and bulgur wheat and roasted carrots. I got this really lovely lint uh, Easter bunny set for, uh, for Easter from Christopher. Um, we were trying to remember what size the bunnies were when we were talking about it earlier on so I've got two big bunnies and three little bunnies it's very cute um so I'm gonna have one of those now and I also got a card from him to say thank you for taking him out on some nice adventures um and this is how far I've come along with my puzzle this evening so I'm quite enjoying this one I have to say it's it's a nice puzzle good evening it is nearly eight o'clock I've been doing my puzzle and another big bit of my tooth has come out now they are taking the tooth out but i haven't got a date for that yet but at this rate the tooth's going to have come out by itself before you know we get to the point of pulling it out or at least all the stuff they're going to be able to get hold of will have come out and i'm a little bit concerned because that might mean he was already saying he didn't know if he'd be doing it or if it was a hospital job this rate they're not going to have anything to pull so they're going to end up probably hospital i imagine oh well i've got that to look forward to hopefully they'll be able to pull it out but you know when you just get a feeling it's not going to be that simple unless of course it all just falls out by itself which is the approach it seems to be taking at the moment um i've had a fantastic day with the kids just milling around the house doing some crafts doing you know we did a little easter egg hunt um cooked a nice dinner and then i've sat doing my puzzle for the last hour and a half something like that um i'm all showered anyway i'm just going to go and throw my pjs on and then i need to pack my bag for tomorrow because jackie and i are going on our hike tomorrow um to do the next bit of the thames path 
and we're getting slowly closer and closer to Oxford from like the furthest point west westerly heading easterly across the country um I think we're gonna do another nine miles tomorrow possibly I think it ended up being about 11 12 miles last time didn't it but we're looking at about nine miles I think this time and the weather's meant to be lovely so really looking forward to it um Jackie and I always have a always have a good time when we're together so and I think you guys enjoy watching us I've had several people say you they enjoy our humor and what have you when we're together so we'll have to see what tomorrow brings but for now I'm going to say good night you lovely lot and I'll see you all tomorrow <laughs>